Hello, people. It's XX Palms Away XX here. And today, oh no, I'm not eat that. And today, I'm doing something kind of special. I guess you could call it special. Um, I would say for 200 videos, it's a 200 video special, but I didn't plan that, and I don't know if it actually is 200. Because look at this. It changes on me depending on what page I'm on. It's ridiculous. Um, what I'm doing today is something that's been requested a few times, many times, but I've done before. Uh, although I did it back, way back when, eight months ago, I think it was. But pretty much just, you know, make a time lapse of something. I did, I made it, and I showed how I made it. You could skip through it. Not that many steps. I guess, I don't know. Not as many people have seen it, and I mean, the first comment is, can you do it more slowly? I guess I can. So, what we're doing today is we are doing just that. We will be doing it, but we're doing it more slowly. Uh, I took a, someone suggested it, and I mentioned, yeah, I'm thinking about this, so I took a suggestion from them, and I'll be doing with their suggestion. And I'm making it all the way through. Alright, so the one that they suggested is Candy Cane. It's an OC. I'm not sure if they're saying it's their OC, because I think I've seen a Candy Cane somewhere. But the first thing I do with any good character design, I get up real close and basically just make a rough estimate. The way I make assets, if you want to do anything that's curved, Pretty much just put two points, so that would make a curve kind of like that. Um, wait, I just realized I can't. Dang it. Okay, so let's say we have a mistake like this clearly is. Let me slow down there. So if you right click on this thing, if you know this edit points thing, I pretty much use that for everything that I make that's elaborate. All the backgrounds in OSI. Especially the backgrounds. Something like that. Lucky it was there for me to check. Once I have this rough outline made of straight ish lines, trying to keep it even here. Um, I think it might have been good the way it was. It's a lot of estimating. I think it is with all. So once you click on any of these dots, you're gonna see two, two of these things here, and basically they control which how your line is going to bend here. So that's how I can create lots of bulges and whatnot. Now sometimes if you do it for me randomly, it happens. It'll get give you this one. This one's a little less mobile because you can't. It's good for making squares and round edges, so I might use it right here. Maybe. It's perfect. Flawless. Goes down, and I really do not like this thing up here. It's uneven, and it's bothering me. Gosh dang it. Okay. Yeah, that was good enough. <laughs> Right, so now I'll just get the color. And if you don't want to choose any of these colors, that's fine. More fill colors. And you can choose one of these things. But I sometimes just go into here. Except this. I don't know. Getting white is a little easier in here, but let's have it be off white. Just barely off white. Outline, make it thick. Thick enough to be good. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so now we're just gonna have to start making some triangles. So I'm gonna make an example of one. Cause I don't want this to take too much time. So as you can see, I'm sort of just ever so slightly 
adjusting these points right here so that it looks like there's just a little bit of a curve not much curve but a curve as it loops around try and get the weight of the oh here's another thing uh format object yeah is it gonna this makes it you know fairly easier to do stuff especially transparency Transparency only works for some things, though. I can explain that later. Or right, for another day. So that seems to be an okay-ish number. Yeah, okay, 7 point. We're gonna go with that. Okay, so now let's say we, we have this shape right here, and we don't want to find these colors again and whatnot. There's one easy thing if you don't know about it. It's just set as default shape. And it doesn't work with all things. Like, if you draw this line, it's going to be the default line. But now, for pretty much all shapes, it's going to look like that. So, and since it's, it's a candy cane, I, I kind of forgot about this. But I guess I can just go up the line like this. As you can see, it's starting to curve in right here. So, what we're going to do is now sadly i don't really have a way to control what this point does right here it's just gonna sit there and be a point if it wants to be a point oh yeah that works since it's i think it's gonna be bigger here just thinking about the proportions of it you gotta have a good frame of mind for that sort of thing too Anyway, guys, depending on how this is looking for time, I might just skip to the end and show you the finished product. Uh, because I didn't want to time lapse that much of this since people want to actually know how it's made. But one thing I should explain is the shadows side of things. So. Anyway, guys, I will be right back with, well, and we'll see where I get. I'm finished. So as you can see, we have all our little parts here. Um, I, I just followed the same sort of pattern. But uh, as you see, we have all our parts here. And if you just click, right click again, you know, you do a lot of fancy things when you right click, group it, it makes it good. Now, once we're actually done with this, we'll do something else with it that won't need to change it into a we don't need to do that. We can save it as a picture, so then it'll be an actual picture. You you won't be able to take it apart. This is sometimes good, sometimes eh, because in the future you might want to change around your asset. So, depends on what you want to do. You can keep it like this, or you can change it into a picture. I might change it into a picture, but anyway, so adding the shadow. Usually when I add a shadow, it all depends on where you want to have your light source. Usually it's... I put it in the top left corner. So the shadow would be like right around here. Now because we have this little arch thing, it's gonna be kind of interesting, but let me just go ahead and sh start this. Okay, now that we've finished drawing this, um, I will shape it first and then try and sort of explain how you do the color. So you already seen how I shape things, but actually I'm gonna, it's, this is actually important to note, I just forgot. Um, I might actually need to put the outline back and just get rid of the lines. I just remembered that uh, yeah, your shadow's not going to have any lines, so I'm just going to have to move all of these. Whoopsie daisies. Anyway, I think I might be done. <clears throat> so before, what I would do is I'd 
choose black and now you can do this in the more colors you just choose the transparency and you know you'll see it Actually, you won't see any change right here but you'll see it once it pops up here but I think this one's a lot better if you go into format shape because you can just you can see it changing so that's a lot of, that allows you to really get the color you want now usually when I'm making an asset for the shadow I take the color of the line and then make that fairly transparent but as you can see the base is white and we have this red color on top of it and if we do it the other way around it's still and it, it doesn't look right so usually I don't like using black for shadows but since this one has two colors like this that aren't similar like if this was a red and red candy cane I could still use red for the okay, actually I can go ahead and show you that if this is a red and red candy cane I can still use this red perfectly fine and it looks natural but since it's red and white using red or white just doesn't make any sense so I don't like doing it but for this case I'm gonna have to use black I might save this picture oh uh, speaking of which save this picture you just click that in it uh, you just save it in here candy cane near the top here we are so as you can see the difference between a picture and the actual here I can't see the words well up here it says drawing so this is what's considered a drawing this is what's considered a picture is the drawing you can take apart picture you cannot and I've changed the transparency on pictures before but it's kind of complicated and I might save that for another time but anyway guys that's it that's all the candy cane fun I have to share. Um, I could make another asset, but I feel like that pretty much sums up everything I do, along with as uh, with all the um, curves. I mean, this was I guess was an okay asset to show how I make the curve since it's got such an insight. An outside curve right there but yeah that's basically it I mean I guess making these assets isn't all just the tools I mean you kind of had no have to know how to what this would look like but I mean that doesn't mean I you shouldn't have a problem just you know looking up a picture that would help you but anyway that just about does it Thank you all for watching. Hope you all learned something. And if you did, great. But if you want to learn something else, tell me. There's probably some other specific things I could do that would be educational, powerpointational. Hope I could be the PowerPoint professor with the proclivity for point. Uh, I'm done. Uh, I'm done. See you. Not just stop. I told you.